Starting from a schematic in target 3001, you now would like to place parts and tracks on a 3D body. Pressing the 3D button at this stage delivers an empty canvas because we first need to import a 3D construct. In menu actions, please use item prepare MID. A browser opens to select a step file which delivers the body to design on. What we have here is a kind of plastic cap to which we'd like to apply some electronics according to our schematic. To the left we see all signals as well as the component packages being determined by the schematic. To place a component package to the body, please use this button. The cursor image changes and you move it to the spot where the center of a package shall be placed. A list pops up to select the desired package. Immediately it gets placed and a further dialog allows rotation by degrees. Positive means counterclockwise, negative means clockwise. You also might enter degrees here individually. Now that we are still in the mood to place parts, we just hover to the next position. The same here. First click, then select from the list. We select IC number 2 and place it. Again, we have the opportunity to rotate the part. You can make this dialog pop up at a later time after having a part highlighted and pressing keyboard key T for turn. Well, the position might be improved a bit. So we highlight it by a click to its center, move the cursor to the desired spot and press keyboard key D for displacement. Immediately the package moves its center to the new spot defined by the cursor tip. For these two parts we'd like to see the connections coming from the schematic. Creating the air wires gives information which connections now need to be routed. For a better view, we fade out the packages for a moment. We look at this diagonal connection we now would like to route. We use the button to place a track while instantly the cursor changes. If we come close to a pad, a little snap-on box appears helping to meet the connection right. Such a snap-on box only appears at pads which have a signal being defined in the schematic. Pads with no signal don't show a snap-on box. With a click we start to place the track. The width of the track in black and its aura in red are determined by the signal characteristics in the schematic. See how a track is placed. We shoot over a bit Place it by click and arrive to the destination pad. With escape you release the cursor from any mode and return to pointer mode. Now we'd like to adapt this corner by dragging it into shape. Use the drag corner mode, do a simple click to the corner while the image of the track segment changes. Now just move the mouse without any key action. We change the track width for example to 0.1 mm. This will cause an error later when we start the design rule check. Also spacing violations, how to check them and how to correct them. So here we deliberately cause a spacing violation by placement of the track too close to a neighbored pad. Now we start the DRC, the design rule check. It checks whether all components are placed whether all signals are routed, all pins touch the ground with a certain tolerance given. Also the width of tracks as well as spacings and short circuits can be checked. When it is started it shows some packages missing as well as air wires left, which is clear to us. But at the bottom of the list we see this hints segment too thin and spacing violation and this is what we have caused. Every error is represented by a marker. Each one can be clicked to get information what it stands for. If clicked, the element in question is highlighted. Pressing keyboard key E allows to edit it.
The same with the spacing violation. Since it has no corner to drag it, it is best to delete it and draw it new. Error markers can be deleted by the DRC dialog. If all parts and tracks are properly placed, you may come to something like that. Any part can be deleted at any time, any track can be adapted at any time. You always have the schematic in the background. So any change of the electronic logic in the schematic can instantly find its consistent representation on your 3D construct. To produce it, you just would export all to a step file to hand it over to the manufacturer of your choice. Regarding the assembly, you first might want to have a look at the bill of material. All components in use are listed as well as their orientation angles, including azimuth and senate angles. The same with dispenser information in order to apply the solder agents to the pads. In addition to the name of the component, all its pad coordinates are listed. If you want to order the completely produced and assembled part as a whole, just click the beta layout tab to request an offer from there.